Hi guys, welcome back. Usually in our videos, you see how we make our jewelry. We're usually uh, working on commission pieces that are for our private clients, or we're recreating famous or celebrity jewels for you to see. But I was just having a cup of tea and I just had to jump on for a rant. Today I'm gonna be talking about the Pharrell Williams and Tiffany & Co collaboration, Spectacles. I am fascinated by history, especially the role that jewellery plays in it. So I'm very familiar with these spectacles. I first discovered them at an Indian art exhibition at the v &A Museum. My wife has Indian heritage, so I have a lot of contacts in India and I visited many workshops in Mumbai and Jaipur. Uh, they're amazing, some are like stepping back in time, some are still using French blowpipe torches and Archimedes drills. Indian jewellery has a very distinct aesthetic. You're talking 22 karat gold, rose cut diamonds, outrageous designs and even things like daggers that would be worn by the moguls and the maharajas. When I first saw the mogul spectacles I'd never seen anything like them before so I instantly appreciated and admired the craftsmanship. They originate from the 17th century but the original owner remains a mystery. Although we are able to determine that the emeralds originated from the Muzo mine in Colombia, the origin of the diamonds is much harder to prove, but they probably came from the Galconda mine in South India. So to use emeralds as lenses in spectacles, you've got to be some sort of crazy rich guy. Um, first of all, you need a whopping piece of rough, over 300 carats in this case. Then, some poor old lapidary guy needs to cut, saw and polish them down to within less than 3 millimeters thick. And then, they've got to be mounted. Respect. Emeralds have a soothing effect on the eye whilst looking at them, or looking through them. The Roman Emperor Nero was rumoured to have a pair of these emerald spectacles through which he used to watch his gladiators fight. Also, in Islamic tradition, green is the colour of paradise and maybe that's where these glasses get their name from, the emeralds of paradise. So, I've always admired these glasses from a craftsmanship perspective. But when it comes to the design, now I'm a big fan of Pharrell Williams. I was I grew up on his music. He's a creative mind, a clothing designer, and if you ask me, a musical genius. No, not you, Kanye. So when collaborating with one of the world's largest jewellery brands, well, what can I say? I was expecting better. When two creative powerhouses like that come together, I was definitely expecting big things. I mean, Florel, just take a look at yourself for a minute, mate. They look ridiculous. Me and Harry were considering recreating these glasses for you um, but you know there's probably over a hundred hours of labor in them and with the materials they would have been extremely expensive to do and you know I'm just not feeling them I'm sorry to go on about it but you just you would think that Pharrell and Tiffany and Co would come up with something more original I mean just look at them they're not inspired by the original, they're a straight rip-off. Weak effort, guys. So that's my rant over, I guess. Sorry there's been no making and no craftsmanship in this video, but I have always wanted to make a pair of glasses or sunglasses, something along those lines. So I'm sure we will be doing so in a future video, although ours will definitely be a bit more on point 
you know, still slightly flamboyant, but maybe something a little bit more like Snoop Dogg's Bumblebee glasses designs, which I think are quite cool. I don't know, we'll see what's to come. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm Carl Carter, this is London Rocks. Stay tuned for everything, diamonds, jewelry, and gems. And I'll see you in the next video.